Wow, there's so many to choose from, Gotham. Which one's the best one? This one, Egg World. <laughs> yeah, we got this one, which is nice. Why is this one better than the other ones? Because this guy been to uh, Master Chef. Oh, really? Yeah, you can see. Wow, Jay Kumar. Is Jay here today? Uh, Jay, uh, Jay come by here. Uh, yeah, you come by here. He will come a little late. Ah, he'll come later. So they got uh, a very famous dish called uh, egg burji. Ah, egg burji. Which is uh, like boiled eggs, with spices and everything. Ah, let's get a um, boiled burji. Boiled burji. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that one. Boiled burji when I got to. This is literally egg, egg city. Egg city. <laughs> Everyone's making eggs. Obviously, you can't go past somebody that's been on Master Chef, you know? If you've been on Master Chef, you're obviously a really good cook. Oh wow, so right now he's getting all the eggs here and he's basically slicing them up. We got the big pan here heating up, got some oil on there. Man. I'm excited, I'm excited. Here we go. All the eggs are on, more oils added, and that's just gonna get boiled in all nicely. They're adding 10 more eggs. 10 more eggs. Probably 40. 40 eggs. A couple of chives. Green chili. Oh, chili. Green chili. Oh, yeah. Wow. Maybe yeah. Just all the different colors makes it so beautiful. Look how much tomato is in there. Getting mixed around. If I did not order the burgee, they would still cook this for yeah. the rest of the day? Yeah. They have to. Yeah, because lots of people want to come and just... Because this is a signature dish for them. Yeah, yeah. So everybody come here for this only. For this, this is the most famous yeah. dish of all of them. People can eat omelette anywhere they want. Yeah. But Turji only here. Ah. And look how much... What is this, salt? Salt. So much salt being added into the mix. How many of these would they do in one day? Like on average? Every day. So every day they make... More than 50 times. More than 50? Uh, like normally, basically they put uh, 70 eggs in one time. And they do that 50 times usually yeah. in one day? Every day, yeah. Oh my goodness. In winter, sometimes it goes 100 plus. Wow. <laughs> it just smells so damn good, everybody. All right, chili's being added. Wow, that is a lot of chili. Oh, two handfuls. Three handfuls. There's more chili than there is egg. Look at how much chili there is in there. Oh my goodness. And that, what is that stuff? And that's uh, that is special masala. Special masala, secret recipe. <laughs> Look at all the spices that are in the middle, guys. Yeah, now you can do it from yourself. All right, so I've been told not to film this part because he just added a secret sauce that nobody actually knows what's in it. So those two bottles there, are the secret sources that make this as good as it is. And only these people that work here know the recipe of what's inside of those sources. But look how red this has gotten everybody from all the spices, from all the chilies. After adding that sauce, it changed the color. Yeah, it's like so, it's so deep, dark yeah, yeah. red and brown now. Yeah, exactly. All right, so after waiting about five minutes, so we're going through the cooking process for about five minutes, we finally have the, uh, the magical recipe here. Yeah. Egg burgee in our hands. We got some bread uh, there as well. But I think just to start off with, I'm just gonna get a spoonful and uh, I'll give you my initial initial thoughts. It smells really delicious. A ton of spices, a ton of different sauces in there. Eggs, vegetables, onions, uh, tomatoes, chilies as well. So let's uh, get a little bit here and we'll give it a taste test. Wow, that is spicy. Oh my god. It didn't. Woohoo! I need pani. Egg pani, ASAP. <laughs> oh my god. I told him to make it less spicy. You, you told him to make it less yeah. spicy. This is less spicy. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, it makes sense. Because you saw how much spice and chilies he put in there. But hey, while we wait for pani, we might as well get some more into it. We got some bread here with it on. Wow, oh, that is actually so delicious with the bread. It must be like some kind of like sweet bread because it tastes delicious. I absolutely love it. 
The Pawnee has arrived. Don't you run by it. Oh. Put it out, yo. Now that. That is refreshing. I will say, apart from the overpowering level of spice, obviously that's just like my, my to lack of tolerance level, the taste is unbelievably good. It tastes so amazing. Cheese? <laughs> I will never turn down cheese. I'd love some cheese. Look at that big block of cheese being grated on top. Oh, I'm sure. That looks good now. Now, now it just made it 10 times better. Let's make a little sandwich, alright? Get some egg on there. One piece, two pieces. Grab a bit of cheese like that. Hopefully it melts a little bit with the heat of the egg. And then, uh, oh, and a, li a little sambo. That's what we call a sambo, everybody. An egg sambo with cheese. Oh man, cheese makes it so good. Good. Wow. Nice. Still spicy, but good. <laughs> when you combine the Rajasthani summer heat with uh, basically a kilogram of chili with uh, a couple boiled eggs, it is uh, hot. It is an absolute killer. My mouth is on fire right now. So let's go on with the day. Delicious. Unbelievably good. Just very, very spicy. Thank you so much. Don't give up, babe.